What's up guys, AV Investments is back with you. Um, this is the video that I promised you guys to make uh, earlier and this is gonna be the one for the night. Um, first of all, I'm gonna be explaining a lot of things in this video, um, but most of it is gonna be addressing uh, individuals obviously who ask some questions or who have some comments on, this, on the channel. Uh, but first off, Tony Spotafino, if I'm not pronouncing it correctly, please family. Forgive me. It ain't. It ain't. Obviously, no pun intended. Uh, I'm trying, but you are basically an OG status. Um, you're one of the originals in the channel. So much love and respect. You followed us through from Facebook. I remember. So hopefully, we can all uh, grow together throughout this journey that we have. So much love again, um, Ryan Leach. Um, welcome to the family, man. Um, I get, I get what you're, uh, you and um, Hunter Haley. Um, I, I get, I get what you guys are kind of concerned about, and and it's basically one of the main reasons of why I finally got had the kind of gotten enthusiastic to do this uh, because I've seen the amount of crap and BS that's in uh, on YouTube that obviously the community deserves a whole lot better than that, um, and. You know, I just want to obviously welcome you guys to the family, to the channel, and um, we're gonna. I'm gonna explain what we need to do in order to get. Uh, well, we can't. There's not much we can do as far as like um, the family or the community because what we can do is um, grow. <laughs> um, what is happening and what is going on is basically most YouTubers are either just guessing, flat out guessing, and a lot of them are losing their own conviction in the play or in those meme stock plays simply of two things. One, some have made a lot of money and they have found a source of income through YouTube um, or other uh, platforms so that their hunger for the, the the quest is not as 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 it used to be before um that's just one end of it and i would be damned if any of them say or any of them will come out and say no that's not it or whatever well they can't re literally come out and say that but um i'm telling like i'm saying it as it is that's one the second one the why they lose conviction is because the same the very same reason why the hedge funds or the institution the institutional investors are predicting psychologically that retail investors will cave for so little so in, in my own opinion i feel like the youtubers have failed the community mightily like like really mighty um and unfortunately um because th what's happening is that they're they're riding on the idea that they themselves they themselves have lost as much conviction their positions have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger they're in the plays so it's not like they don't believe in the plays i mean um like for example take for example lou i i don't think he's fud i just don't think his conviction is, is needed he actually even stated himself in his videos that um you know the need for him to wait for higher numbers is not relevant you don't need to and the guy has a platform and a stream now that that obviously he's getting paid off of. Um, it was been a while, but suddenly he came out lately and you know kind of just tucked it under the carpet and said that uh, you know oh YouTube switched him to monetization where that's not how it works. You know you you gotta click for that. So um, again, no knock on that. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, is this time consuming? It is takes some time. It it is a job. It's literally like a job. But the difference here is that you got a lot of people tied up to you. And this is going out straight up to the YouTubers out there. If they're seeing this, they're seeing this. If they're not, who cares? This is all about, this is from me to the community at the end of the day as far as what we're going through or what we're doing here. But from me to the YouTubers out there, the community deserves a whole lot better. Without them, you wouldn't have anything you have you wouldn't have had the opportunity or the chance to have what you had. Um, so the least you can do is go all in 
for your community. You're good regardless from this point on out. You're good. Whether that goes up or doesn't, you're good. But you owe it to your community that, that, that got you to that position. That's all I have to say. Nothing against anyone. I'm not calling out anyone or anything. I'm just, I'm just making it out. You know, I'm just making a a a a, 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 a call a call out of my own to 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 you out there, whoever you are. You know, if this hits, it hits. If it doesn't, then you are you you're you're just like you went up. You're gonna go down. Um, who else? Uh. J stars, I couldn't agree with you anymore. Like, yes, it's it's it, it is very 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 sad that they're pushing these obviously brackets now, and it changes like crazy, like crazy, like like Hunt, Hunter uh, Haley said, like you know, so, like four months ago it was something in the thousands, and now it's in the hundreds again. I just explained why they have either they've lost their conviction personally themselves, that's one, two, or they're good regardless, so that they don't need this to hit the crazy brackets and the third reason is because a lot of them has always been just guessing all along because they're just throwing i mean their main incentive or motive is their channel or, or their youtube um they're not really into what happens with this play or not of course don't get me wrong everybody looks to profit um and obviously most of these youtubers have positions in these plays but like i said the bigger and bigger their positions got the lesser it's, it's, it's kind of like they're becoming institutionalized with time because their positions get bigger and bigger and it almost to a point where they become in a way institute like an institution because it holds a lot of shares and it does not need prices to you know skyrocket into the four five seven eight nine ten twenty five fifty thousand dollars a share to in order for them to get fulfilled so that's that's something at least like you know I would respect any of these YouTubers if they would come out and say this man to man face to face to all their community at least that's what it is but obviously they can't do that because that's where they lose their subscribers. So again guys um if you if you are not subscribed to the channel yet please do so if you like what you're see, hearing or seeing if you're not obviously no no pressure <laughs> um like the video so we can push it out to more people i've seen in the youtube channel that 99 percent of the people that view the videos are not subscribed people literally 99 percent are not subscribed um it, 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 again it pushes out more to more and more people so if hunter haley um uh, Tony, J Stars, um, KJW. I have to answer your question now. Um, if, 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 if we're not getting more and more people in this community, not it's just this this whole talk sticks between just us and our small community. So we can't get more and more people to get on. Um, I guess I guess on the stream. So. We need, guys, we need to get those likes to push the algorithms, to push it to more and more people. We do need to uh, get more subscribers, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but it's not its not going to come down to anyone to, uh, you know, to go ahead. It's not like your job or anything. I'm not asking anything of you. Um, I'm just simply asking, humbly asking, if, you, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't liked the video, if you like what you're hearing, please like the videos. It pushes it out to more people. Thank you for that. Um, ZY, uh, Zycom Kite. So in the comment section, we had we had a little, um, okay, fact check me sometime this week if what I've said in my previous video comes to check out or comes to fruition. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm obviously nothing is 100%. No one is perfect. Uh, I've been wrong before and I've been right before. Um, I don't know which one came out more. I think I've been wrong more than right in, in life in general. Um, but in this thing, I've been more right than wrong. And as far as like the uh, stock market predictions, again, I'm not a financial advisor, neither this is financial advice, guys. This is just an entertainment station and channel. So therefore, I'm just throwing out uh, talks and predictions. Like we said, no one can predict. Uh, no one can predict the future, right? Um. So, what else did we want to cover? Um. So. 
KJW, you, you said something about, like, as far as options, nothing is lawful about what they're doing. Because in my previous video, I said that they're, like, what they're doing all along, what they've been doing, is very lawful, like, in the, as far as the option chain. Now, here's the thing. You are right as far as the unlawful, even though that they're doing lawfully. So, <laughs> let me explain that. It's the setup that they're using and doing is lawful. Now, how they're going about it is unlawful. Here's what they're doing. So basically, um, they're basically going ahead and when they want to push the stock down, they'll go ahead and, um, you know, first they will buy, they will have a lot, a lot of, lot of calls if they want to push the stock up first. So let's say they're pushing the price up. They will buy a lot of calls. I mean, look at, for example, the option chain right now for the $19 strike price on AMC, just hypothetically speaking. It costs about $13, that's the mid uh, ask for it. Probably could get it for 12, who knows. But at that, at the moment, it's listed as 13, okay? So $13 that expires this week, on this Friday, you can buy a $19 strike price. And that strike price, someone like a big individual, and that's why the options chain and the way that they influence the prices as far as it going up or going down it's mainly for rich 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 individuals and you might not like what i have to say about who is involved in that i think it's everyone as far as that now obviously from the law agencies i don't know i don't think so um it, they can't be involved because that will i mean if if, if the hypothetical situation of it coming out that will create crazy riots in the streets. Um, if the if the person who's supposed to keep the the bad person in check is helping the bad person, then we don't have an a, 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 an officer anymore or a police officer anymore in that in that sense. So you have to you have to see that I don't see anything from the law. Um, I think they're just behind, or they could who knows they could be just turning an eye. I don't know. But as far as the options, everyone else is involved. That's my personal opinion. You got the hedge funds. You have the retirement funds, the buying institutions. These people, these institutions that are, you know, people are pushing their articles. Oh, my God, they tripled their holdings in, in AMC and GME and Vanguard and BlackRock. Well, these guys are not our friends because these guys are actually part of the equation of to what's happening with this option chain um and then you got the brokers who's benefiting either way here's the thing the when, when they want to push the price up like i said the 19 dollars strike price just as an example 13 dollars right now and there is if they if, if once they start pushing the way they push it up is that that price is very close to the being in the money so they buy first a lot of stocks or a lot of options sorry at various strike prices like they'll buy it at the 16 at the 17 at the 18 at the 19 and the 20 and they scatter it out you know some little more than other and some little less than other but in high high volumes so like you might see something like 13 or 14 thousand calls at the 13 uh, at the $19 strike price. But when you do the math, um, like one entity can buy five or, you know, 9,000 um, option calls and that will cost them anywhere between, if they bought like 9,000, that should probably, at that price, it should probably cost them around anywhere around 115 to $124,000. Sorry, I'm just doing the math right off my head. So anywhere between, yeah, uh, 9,000 calls at $13 a pop, um, you're talking about, 90,000 basically shares because each option is considered 100 shares in derivatives and convertibles. So they you're talking about 115 to about 124 or $26,000. To us that's a lot of money, to them that's nothing. And one thing we do know by now is that the swaps probe came out and they had a lot of issues with it that so many if not all these individuals this is how this is tying into what i'm talking about you know we're all on the same page 
they were all talking to each other, giving each other information to get, you know, this result and keep prolonging the MOAS, in my opinion. Um, and continue to, at least the way that they're continuing to kind of st like stamp it and sticker it, like, you know, they get a hole from right here, they patch it, patch, 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 patch. But eventually that whole, um, that whole patching job is not going to be enough. It's going to just burst. And you're talking about like Noah's, uh, uh, you know, ship might not even save them, you know, Ark like might not even save them. You know, like it's going to, everybody's going to just drown. That's like, I, that's what I think the Moas, that's the way I envision it. Um, if it rolls the way that I see it, the way that I was talking about in those two, three videos ago about the reverse psychology from retail towards institutional. Um, because all along they've been patching to try to batter us up. Eventually we got to this point now where we're here and, you know, they have to eventually close out these positions. They can't just keep them open with millions of people on board. So the only way they can close this down is by letting and them not losing out as well is throughout this whole year and a half, they've been accumulating billions of dollars if not trillions of dollars and eventually if people accept those you know funny prices that you know the brackets that some youtubers are putting out there and i'm not going to say what numbers are what good and what's bad i'll leave it to you to think about that but whatever price is whatever price they're eventually thinking that what they can give you is what they have accumulated from you and the rest of the community throughout this whole year and a half um, and that's, that's where they're like, they're in plan A plan B is get mauled. There's no plan B. So once you, they don't want you to know this. And that's why you have the, like, you know, you got these YouTubers that's putting, pushing out this info out there to give people uh, a lot of fear, a lot of thought process to think about this. So that way, um, you lose conviction over time. And I see it throughout the community. People have lost conviction. Yes, um, I think it was you, uh, J Stars, that that mentioned this. That you know that you were saying that um, you and Hunter Haley mentioned that these these like you know people are pushing out this stuff in in from YouTube. Like these YouTubers are pushing out this info, and you got once what once was a very strong community now very divided. And you're talking about people who are ple pledging allegiance. I mean, this became like a video game now. You're talking about, I pledge, pledge allegiance to this clan, that pledges allegiance to that clan, and whatever this person says, I'm just going with it, and whatever that person is saying is, I'm going with it. I mean, that's not that's not good. And by the way, guys, that, that's not me saying that we are going to get to 25,000 and 50,000 or 100,000. No, I'm saying that all I'm saying is give the play it's value. Like, don't have gold and sell it for silver value or bronze value. Why? Because look at what you have. You have all the float sold over and over and over again. And all that has to be repaid and rebought. It's up to you to decide the price. They want to take it off the market? Okay, no problem. Do you know how many millions of lawsuits will go? Do you know how many people in that time frame will be subpoenaed and even... Like, you know, all law branches were brought into this. Like, this is not something they want to go to court. The very thing that some YouTubers are scaring you with is the very last thing that they also want it to go to. Because then you're talking about the government will have to take care of everything. Because these guys will, like always, they just run off and they get scared and they run off to their islands. And, you know, they'll say, I hid the money somewhere and... Who knows if they can get that money back or not? But the bottom of the the bottom line is, these individuals have raised their like wealth by billions of dollars. Like that top one percent that we're going up against, they've raised their position, like their wealth by billions of dollars, and it's just not rightful that that's the way it is. So back to the options play. So now that the wealthy individual is buying all these. Um, options they are going like you know they bought all these 19 dollars strike like hypothetically speaking like i said all these 19 dollars strike calls they're getting the market sentiment ready to see like oh wow look there's a lot of option interest right there 
So the broker, in turn, because of all these options are bought at, at the money or very close to the out of the money, they, by default, like to hedge themselves, they have to buy stock in the stock. So they have to buy a lot of stock into that into that particular stock so that they can cover in case those shares or that start strike price was to be in the money. They have to provide the stocks for that. So when they do that, obviously the price action starts climbing. That's how they manipulate the price going up. Now, as the price is climbing, these guys are unloading their calls from various strike options and loading up on their puts on the bottom. And the same formula, very close to the out of the money, uh, in the money, or very close to out of the money, uh, like almost in the money, put calls, strike calls, and puts, strike puts, and in the money puts, like on the money puts. And the same thing will happen when they are starting to sell off their calls you're talking about the prices are going down. Now, not, the, the, this price action doesn't necessarily need to get to straight to $19 because what they can do is they can go ahead and sell most of their 19 because if the price started at 15 and it went up to, for example, 17, your call option, if you sold any call options or puts, guys, you would know what I'm talking about here. You are very volatile moving up 10, 8, 11% in one day to the point where, or 12% in one day, to the point where at that particular moment in time before the expiration date on Friday, and that's why you see that the options never are left until Friday, you know, all the calls, because it's all about the extrinsic, extrinsic value. So what they do is they sell them Tuesday, Wednesday, um, and, and they like begin selling on Tuesday, the higher ones, like around the $19 ones, so they can cap how far this goes. And they start loading up on puts so that by Thursday, normally, this explains, I'm just explaining to you what you see, the price action that you see. So by Thursday, when you see that price is falling under the $19 that everybody was thinking or the 20 or the $21 that everybody was thinking about or loaded up on from retail, the price drops and stays at 17 or 18 and they do the same thing the following week. And that's where they get the puts the following week. They cash them out Monday and Tuesday, or it could be the other way around. If the previous week it was up, then the following week, which is like this week, they started out Tuesday, Wednesday, because Monday was closed. Uh, Tuesday was basically down because you're talking about they were exercising their puts. And now it's naturally that since they were making money on their puts, you know, it's time to go up. So the way that the price goes down is when they sell their calls, automatically the they're selling, the, the broker is selling their shares on that. Because, you know, once someone is selling in the money calls and you're talking about all the shares that the broker have purchased to hedge themselves to that call, you know, they dump them back on the market. When they dump them back on the market, what do you think happens? This explains why on the days that we're going up, I see this a lot. And this is a good explanation for you guys out there. Why is it that the price, is go when it's going up, we have the out the outgoing is more than the ingoing on, the, on, on, like on your Weeble or whatever. Like you'll see that ingoing is like 25 and you'll see outgoing is like 40. But the price is going up. And then on the days that the ingoing was higher than the outgoing, um, is that's when we're going down. So it's kind of like reversed. You're like, well, I don't ex understand this. Well, this is how. This is the explanation to that. Like, I think this is the best way to explain. I don't know if I can explain it any further, but but that's how it does. You know, when they dump those shares because those calls where that's it, they're sold. They don't need to hold those leveraged shares that they bought to leverage or to hedge themselves for the uh, calls that, you know, they were possibly going to go into the money. They no longer need to hold them. They dump them on the market. The price goes down because there's selling pressure now. <laughs> They're selling a lot of them. They're just dumping them. People are going to buy them. And this is where you and I come in when we're talking about buy the dip. Um, so this is going really long. Like I told you, this was a lot to explain. I'm still going to come back for the second video now, so just so I can have another shorter one because 
I don't know if many of you will watch 25 minutes of AB Investments. Hopefully you do. Much love, guys. I'm coming back for the second video. Please like and subscribe to the channel, guys.